in today's lecture we will go on a tour de force through the different topics involved in global digital development. This will hopefully result in a kind of like 10,000 feet bird's eye view that will give us a big picture about the digital revolution and, and, and what it's involved with it. We will start with the crucial question of how can we think about global digital development. We all have some kind of familiarity with the digital revolution. We use digital technology every day through social media, uh, email, our mobile phones. But one of the key takeaway messages of this course is that it is very important and very useful to confront our digital daily reality with some kind of conceptual frameworks in mind. Because these conceptual frameworks will help us to navigate also uncertain and very dynamically quickly changing digital realities without the need of freaking out or getting confused in your job or being afraid of it. So these conceptual frameworks are very useful. Um, as I already mentioned, we can think about the digital revolution as an interplay of technology, society, and policy or strategy. So we first of all have the digital technology, that's the basic condition on which the digital age is based on, and technology is a tool for social modernization. And this tool, as every tool, has to be guided because it is not naturally good or bad. It is just a tool. So we have these three dimensions of technology, society, and guiding interventions. Going a little bit more in detail, we say that technology can be distinguished in three different sectors. We have, first of all, the physical technology, everything tangible. These are your phones, the computers, the cables, the routers, and so forth. Then we have intangible parts of digital technology that's basically that is the software and all the apps so be it social media apps facebook youtube email but also your operating system or or itunes and all kind of these generic services that we use and third of all there's also the biology there's us humans who take this technology and incorporate that for that we need capabilities skills also often cultural changes that are needed to embrace digitalization. Then we use these, this technology, this combination of these of the technology in order to put parts of information and communication processes in society into electronic networks. That's why our generation often uses to put the E in front of the future generations won't anymore because it's going to be normal that the government uses some kind of information communication technology, but in the meantime, we call this e-government uh, or e-business, e-health, education, and there are many more of them. And then there is e-dating and uh, e-banking and e-security and e-warfare. So uh, we will talk about many of them today. And last but not least, technology is not automatically good or bad it is just a tool so we have intervening strategies uh, and policies in order to guide it towards the direction that we have in mind as an individual as a company as a government or as a global society and there are basically two two kinds of intervention uh, there is positive and negative feedback so positive feedback means to drive a dynamic to an extreme so for example you have a fire, you put either oil or water into it. You either make it very big, so you like to have many programmers, or you have criminality and you want to extinguish, extinguish it. Uh, and negative feedback is that means that you want to keep a dynamic kind of like in the middle. You want to keep it constant, not too big and not too small. You don't want to put oil or water uh, completely, and you want to keep it, for example, privacy or sharing on social networks. We want that people share, but maybe not everything. It could be could be dangerous. So you want to keep it uh, in, in, in some in some golden middle. So this is the conceptual framework we will work with in this entire course. And today we will walk around the cube. We will take it apart kind of like a Rubik's cube and then we will put it back together again 
uh, to help us see the different aspects from a bird's eye view. And for that, we will answer three questions that go along these three dimensions. What are the requisites for digitalization that involves basically the technology? Then what are the opportunities that arise from digitalization for social change? And last but not least, what to do about it? So what? So we will go a little bit into the policies. And during the entire course, we will dig a little bit deeper into these same issues.